Pettigrew Bakeries in Cardiff caters to all tastes. Mixing the traditional with the modern, there's so much for customers to choose from. But when it comes to the referendum, the choice is down to in or out. So for Newsnight's visit, we requested a twist on some of the bakery's most popular products. Well, I'm just wondering whether I could offer you an in or out brownie. I'm in. You're in? I'd take two if I was allowed. <laughs> You're an outer. Absolutely. Tell me why. Well, I feel it's democracy, really. I've not voted in um, bureaucrats in Brussels that I don't even know. One reason for the generational divide in this referendum may be that many young voters, like this 26-year-old artisan baker, see their identity as bound up with Europe. I've always classed myself as European, so it'd be nice to still, you know, go over to France and think that we're one and the same, really. Um, yeah, so definitely in for me. I've lost weight now. Yeah. I'm down to 13 stone from 14. Oh, well, I'm super impressed with that. Okay, so I won't offer you a brownie. On, I'll, I'll take one then. I can't work out which one of them is lying. I can't work out which one of them is planned for the future. Take that home for someone else. Oh, I'll give it to my son now. Whether it's in the Welsh valleys or further afield, received wisdom in this referendum is that the young are in favour of Remain, older people want out. Are you hungry? <laughs> yeah, definitely. There you go. She is now, she's seen the cake. <laughs> exactly. Pat, would you like some cake? Just a thin slice, a please. Thin slice. In you. the Swansea Valley, we gathered three generations of the same family who appear to sum up those divisions. I'm going to vote to stay in because I see myself having a better future in the, in the EU. Um, with the job security and what about you, Mingyi? Oh, I'm definitely out. No doubt about it. I never had any doubt at all. Really? I didn't want to go in in the first place. Now, I know that the Remain campaign had a, had a campaign during this uh, referendum which was persuade your granny onto your side. So here's your yeah. moment. Do you think you can? I love my youngest granddaughter very much, but she will not persuade me. <laughs> no, I have absolutely stubborn. I've had no doubt right from the start. Out, let's be our own bosses and let's regain, regain our dignity. We're being taken over and we're being told what to do by people we haven't elected. And I've said it time and time again. I don't, I don't agree with that at all. I see myself having a better future in Europe. Um, like, you know, you look at things like workers' rights and, you know, um, Im like immigration, free, free movement as well, because I mean, you look at the way things are now, it's pretty likely that I might have to move into Europe to work myself mm. one day, and it's going to be a pain if I have to apply for a visa with every border I cross. Mm. So I think for me and my future, it's better to stay in. And it's my generation that has to deal with the fallout if we go. So please think you're, of me. <laughs> yeah, well, I think of you all the time, Charlotte. <laughs> Do you know how you're going to vote? I'm still undecided. Um, I'm hoping that somebody's going to say something and I'm going to lean one particular way. Go on, Charlotte, have a go. It's, it's me that's got to pick up the pieces eventually. Like, no offence to you guys, but, like... Because <laughs> you're younger. Yeah. You know, it's going it's to be me and my children that have to clean up well, that mess. if it is a mess. Because we're not part of the EU anymore, so we'll just be on the island by ourselves, drowning, saying, help us. And the EU's going to go, well, no, you're not our problem anymore. Are most of your friends of your age group, are they... Do you talk about it? Are they voting uh, to remain? Yeah, well, the ones that are voting are voting to remain. But lots aren't. Yeah, well, that's the thing as well. See, a lot of young people aren't interested in things like that anymore. So, which is a that, shame. That's, that's a tragedy. <laughs> the young could keep the UK in the EU, but only if they turn out to vote. These Cardiff students are keenly political. Their university challenge? To get others to follow their lead. I'm Beth Button, President of NUS Wales, and I'm going to be voting to remain in the European Union. I'm Usman M. Bukhari. I am a second year philosophy and politics student and I'll be voting to remain in. I'm Sara Yassin, a third year history student and I'll be voting to remain. My name is Alex Moscovici. I'm studying Spanish and Italian and I'm going to vote to leave. My name is Victoria Galaska. I'm a fourth year law student at Cardiff University and I'll be voting to leave the European Union. I have a very positive case for staying within the EU. I think for young people particularly, there's jobs out there, there's opportunities for travel, there's opportunities educationally to go and study abroad. We have a lot of power because we're part of the EU. If we're not part of the EU anymore, there's not a guarantee that we will have the same international standing. The referendum isn't about putting rockets on Dover and propelling us out into the Caribbean. We're always going to be part of Europe, and of course we're stronger in Europe. It's the European Union that makes decisions and trade deals on our behalf that we can't support. 
there is a large democratic deficit at the moment um, within the EU and the European institutions and I think if we left there would be a lot more opportunity for young people if Britain was a more sovereign nation. I think it's really funny when you use the term it's not democratic enough. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of Welsh and angry um, Scottish people as well who would say that the UK is not democratic enough. <laughs> This guy said to me, this older man, um, literally said to me, um, you younger generation need to just realise that you don't have the, the knowledge and the experience to know what's right for you in this situation. You need to let the older people make the decision for you because you can't be trusted. And that for me really stung because I thought actually we not only have a right to have a vote and a voice in this referendum, but it's our responsibility, you know, it's our future. I said, my nan said, are you in, are you out? I said, out, and she said, thank goodness. <laughs> Back in the Swansea Valley, it's too late to change Charlotte's granny's mind. Pat's vote for out is in the post. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but would Charlotte and her remain supporting husband have more luck in their local, a traditional mining pub where many, but not all, disagree with them, some in Welsh. Have you already yeah. voted? I do. And what have you voted? Mart. Does that mean leave or remain? Out. Oh, You're getting out. I think Cameron, when he did his so-called deal with the EU gain nothing whatsoever and if we vote to remain now they'll just screw us and are you allowed to say screw? When we ruled ourselves we were all using outside toilets like you know what I mean it's like as if we were like sort of in third world I mean no Christ it's it's the best it's so bloody good everyone wants to no come toilet. here that's a good. That's a good Britain is, and it's only it's only good because of Europe. I'm voting in now, but like I don't care about immigration. Could Yarrick and Charlotte persuade the older punters? I'm going to vote out. It's not about um, racism at all. But as for the people that are coming in, we just simply can't afford to accommodate them. But is it not true that the ones that come here to work actually contribute more into the system that they get out than they get out? So, well, why do you think it is that your views don't chime at all with most of the people here? I don't know. I think it's because I care about different things to the people in here. They are focusing on um, immigration, you know, politics, you know, that sort of thing. Our own sovereignty, etc. I care about uh, like our scientific institutions, uh, farming practices, etc., etc. And you think the EU helps that? Yeah, definitely. You had a go at persuading them. How do you think it worked? There aren't enough pints that I could buy them. <laughs> Their mind's made up like your grand. Yeah. So, no, it's just a, you know, it's just, I think it's just an age thing and most of these are set in their ways as well. You know, they come from a small Welsh mining village and they, they know what they know and they don't, they're not ready to change their minds, which is fine. It, everyone's entitled to their opinion. Opinions are divided. Families and the generations disagreeing on the right way to vote. But one thing is clear. This referendum has got them talking.